All right, peace, Israel. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ba'asham, That belongs to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. And I want to go into uh, 1 Thessalonians. I'm going to start at the fourth chapter. Um, and verse... Uh, uh, I can start at 16, okay? So this is 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. It says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the heavenly Father, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds this is talking about when uh the lord returned okay with the chariots okay um then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air okay and so shall we ever be with the lord all right um let me get a quick precept, okay? Um, let me see. Um, let's go to the book of Acts 1. All right. Let's go to verse... Uh, hmm. You know what? I want to start up a little bit. Uh, this is Acts 1 and 6. It says, When they were therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Okay. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Okay? And it says, and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven, okay, in the chariots, okay? Let me get one more precept. Okay. Because when it speaks about a cloud, it's talking about um, a cloud receiving them. It's, it's talking about the chariots, man. Okay. Let me get a psalm. Let me get Psalm 104. Let me see where it's set. Three. Psalms 104 and 3 it says, Who led the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Okay. Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? All right. So the clouds are the chariots. Okay. Um, let's go back to 1 Thessalonians. All right. And get a little more out of there. All right, this is First Thessalonians, uh, four and seventeen again. Then when, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Okay, and this is talking about the elect getting beamed up out of here to meet the Lord in the air. All right, in the chariots, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Okay. It says, wherefore, comfort one another 
with these words, okay? And these are the or, or exhort one another with these words, okay? Um because this is our hope, okay? This is what we have faith in, okay? That the Lord is gonna return and redeem his elect, okay? And we hope to be of that number. Alright. Let me do this. So like it. Okay. So let me read on. Uh First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. Okay? So up in verse 1, it says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Okay? Why? Because we've already been forewarned to watch, okay, as well as pray, all right, be circumspect. As a matter of fact, let me get a, a scripture. Let's go to St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. This is St. Matthew 24. In verse 3, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, talking about Yahweh Shai, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So we see all of this happening, okay? Then when you jump to... Verse 12, it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We see that. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. You see? And that's happened. All right. This word has gone out. Okay. Then shall the end come. So we know what to look for. Okay. These are the things. These are the signs. Okay, showing us that we're at the end and our Lord and Savior is about to return. Okay, our salvation is nearer than what we believe. Okay, um, let me see something. This is St. Matthew 25 and 13. Straight to the point, it says, Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Okay? So it says, Watch therefore, all right? We don't know the exact day and time, but we know to watch, and when we see these signs come to pass, we know we right on the cusp of getting the hell out of here, which we're, we're there. Okay? Um... Let me go back to uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right. And yes, the Lord is going to return as a thief in the night, man. Okay. Um, And he's going to catch a lot, the majority of people of the world off guard. Okay. Only the elect is watching and, and, and picking up. The true signs that we're about to get out of here, man. Okay. Um. Let's get a precept. Okay. Let's go to Second Peter three. And verse uh. I'm gonna start at seven. Second Peter three and seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved into fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But beloved, be
be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us ward, all right, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto, the point is looking for, okay, and hastening, but looking for, all right, looking for these signs to pass, as it says in um, Second Esdras, in fact, let me grab that right quick. Okay, because we're supposed to be occupied in prophecy. All right. Second Ezra's, uh, second Ezra's, uh, wrong chapter. All right. Second Ezra's, uh, nine and one, it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the sign, pa signs pass, which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world. You see, we see these signs passing. All right. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like all, for like as all that is made in the world had the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So we see what to look for. Okay, so that the day of the Lord don't overtake us as a thief in the night. Okay, it, it, it's gonna he's gonna catch the 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 majority of the rest of the world off guard. Okay, um, let's go back to Second uh, First Thessalonians five. All right, um, and two it says for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord. So cometh as a thief in the night. It also says that in um let's get that in Revelation. The third chapter. And let's see. Revelation three. Um uh, Revelation 3 and 3. I mean, I'm going to start at 2. It says, Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before the Heavenly Father. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. If you don't watch, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So we have to watch, okay? Be ye circumspect, all right? So that we know that we what what time we in, okay? Um. So let's go back. I want to finish this. Uh, First Thessalonians five and three. I'll read two again. It says, "For yourselves know." Perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night for when they shall say peace and safety and that's what this new president-elect is talking about Okay, Joe Biden All right, creepy Joe Peace and safety. We got to heal time to heal Okay See this is all prophesied man. Okay, it says For when they shall say peace and safety All right then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. All right. When a woman going to labor, it's no stopping till that baby come out. Okay. It's on till that baby come out. Okay. And, and, and this whore is gone into labor. The water done broke. Okay. 
It says, for when they shall say, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3, for when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, okay? But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief, okay? Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, okay? We're not in the dark. We woke up. This truth is our light, okay? We've been enlightened through Yah through the Holy Spirit, through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? It says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober, okay? For they that sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night, all right? But let us who are of the day be sober, all right, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for him and helmet the hope of salvation. OK. For the heavenly father had not appointed us to wrath and Lord willing, you know, as we say all the time, you know, Lord willing, I'm of that number. OK, as well as whoever may be listening, if they're sincere. All right. But the definitely the elect is of that number. All right, it says, for the heavenly Father had not appointed unto, appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Okay, so we see where we at, man. Okay, and the Lord is about to return. Okay, so let's keep watching, and uh. And praying and, and staying in the faith, man. Okay, staying, you know, letting our conversation be holy. All right. Um, so that we're not overtaken uh as a thief and like a thief uh by a thief as a thief in the night would overtake us, okay? So lock you drop some stuff on the floor. All right, and again, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm gonna end it right there. Okay. And give all praise, honor, and glory again to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'asham, Ha'akadash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say, Shalom.